overcompensation, or essentially everyone who owns a Ferrari or a Lambo is suffering from the psychological defense mechanism of compensation. Just kidding. Um, people own sports cars for a vi variety of reason, but this is kind of one of those stereotypes, right? So compensation is one of the psychological defense mechanisms that most people are aware of. And the way that it occurs is that there needs to be some type of emotional pain in somebody's history. So a lot of times this happens earlier in childhood or perhaps during the teenage years. Fun fact, our brains actually retain memories better during the teenage years. So that's why a lot of times people have the sensation that their teenage years impact more of their perception of self than any of the other years in their lives makes sense right i mean that literally just explained our strange obsession with like teenage movies and like movies that end with like prom as it's like pinnacle of the narrative right so compensation is very common you probably see it quite a bit but it can exist in a variety of ways so um there's the sports car example there's somebody that was perhaps bullied for their appearance in high school and now they've become obsessed with working out and protein shakes and gym selfies whatever and because that doing that is their way of essentially trying to avoid the emotional pain that they experienced back in that day. So essentially, the mind creates this little math equation that goes kind of like, you know, appearance equals emotional pain, change appearance to be the opposite, then equals no emotional pain. And you can put anything in there that you'd like, it can be like, you know, drives bad car equals ridicule or you know not getting a mate and that equals emotional pain drives the opposite which is a really really nice car then equals no emotional pain or perhaps positive emotion essentially what the mind does is that if it equates something with high emotional pain it makes kind of this very quick calculation that obviously isn't um super nuanced in that the exact opposite and as much of the opposite that we can obtain as possible would equal the opposite uh, emotion and it would equal the opposite level of emotional pain. So essentially, if something really bad happened to me, if I do the opposite, then I would feel the opposite as well. And the issue with this is that oftentimes people push this to a degree that it doesn't help them anymore and in many ways it hurts them so for example some individuals develop something like body dysmorphia because um they become so um obsessed with their appearance as a way to avoid the emotional pain that they might have experienced in being ridiculed for their appearance earlier in life and to, to that point then they're hurting themselves with their coping mechanism and so it's kind of difficult to see where the balance is because obviously um some of these behaviors can be helpful, but when we get to that extreme, it starts hurting us, and it's very difficult for individuals to see that they're hurting themselves.